As the owner of a brand new 2018 MacBook Pro, I knew I had to get a USB-C hub for when I'm on the go. But if you go to Amazon and search for a USB-C hub, there are literally hundreds of options to choose from. So this video is meant to help those who were in the same position as me decide which hub they prefer. I'll start with my decision process and then get on to review my choice and what I believe to be the best all around USB-C hub. Firstly, I selected all the ports I need when I'm on the go. The ports were as follows. At least two USB-A ports, a HDMI port, an SD card slot, and an Ethernet port for those rare occasions where I need the fastest and most stable networking available. Optionally, a micro SD card slot would be nice, but I could also use an adapter. So that's the port selection for my needs. Next up, I could go with either a USB-C hub that mounts flush the MacBook case or an external one with a cable. I actually had a hard time choosing between these because each has its own advantages. The flush adapters usually have two USB-C ports which allow higher throughput meaning more devices can be connected to the hub at once. While the cabled ones, at least for me, are more convenient and usually allow for more ports as they're separated from the actual computer. Lastly, the best thing to do before purchasing a USB-C hub is look at reviews of the device. This can help you separate the good hubs from the bad ones. What I mean by that is that some hubs can have defects and problems or they overheat. Reading or watching reviews of the device allows you to be aware of any issues that could be associated with the hub. So after all this process, which hub did I ultimately decide to purchase? Well, you already know that considering you've seen the title of this video. So let's just get into it. This is the Satachi Type-C Multiport Adapter 4K with Ethernet version 2. Wow, that's a mouthful. This hub has everything I need in just one small package. Let's go over what makes this hub the overall best for my needs. The multiport hub is quite small, measuring in at just 10.5 cm by 5 cm and is just a bit thicker than the MacBook itself. It's made out of aluminium and is color matched to the Space Gray MacBook Pro. There's also a silver one for those who prefer. The hub is solidly built without any creaks or misaligned ports and feels premium. This thing isn't going to break very easily, which is exactly what you need when you take it everywhere with you. On the front is a tiny LED light, which lights up when the hub is in use, although it's so dim that from certain angles, it doesn't seem like it's on. Apart from that, the hub is designed very well with all the ports spread apart evenly and leave enough room to plug in thick cables. Next up, the port selection. Now this is where the real magic of this hub shines. The Statue Hub manages to fit every single port I need. On one side there are three USB-A ports, all of them USB 3.0, and a HDMI port which allows up to 4K 30p output. It's a bit disappointing that the hub doesn't support 4K 60, but considering most single cable hubs don't allow it either, I can live with it for now. On the opposite side are SD and micro SD card slots, which mean I don't have to carry around a micro SD to SD card adapter. The SD card reader is quite shallow, and only the pins of the card are inserted into the actual hub. This doesn't affect how it actually reads the card, it's just something to mention. On the other hand, the micro SD card reader is the complete opposite. The card goes fully into the reader and you need to click it in for it to be read, which is quite a bit finicky, but at least it's included. Turn the hub 90 degrees and you get to the final port, a gigabit ethernet port and a USB-C port. The USB-C is used for pass-through power, which means you can connect a Type-C power cable to the hub and power the laptop from one cable through the hub. While this is handy, it only provides up to 49 watts, which means it's meant mostly for ultra low power notebooks, which includes the 12 inch MacBook as it only has one USB-C port and only needs 29 watts to power. As I stated at the beginning of this video, USB-C hubs with one cable have a major disadvantage to dual USB-C hubs. You only get half the throughput. All the ports of the hub connect through a single five gigabit connection. Taking that into consideration, you wouldn't think this hub can handle all of its ports at once, but for the most part, it can. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this as it does take a performance hit once all the ports are occupied, but it is possible as long as you don't connect power hungry devices like audio interfaces or portable hard drives. I managed to connect the ethernet to my home network, HDMI to an external monitor, USB to an external SSD, and read from the SD card, all with excellent performance. One thing to note is that the HDMI port only works with standard HDMI cables. It doesn't work with adapters or HDMI to DisplayPort cables, so just take that into consideration. Also, when the hub is used to pass through power, it does get quite hot. Not hot enough to burn you, but just enough to be cautious. 
If used without pass-through power, the hub does get warm, but never too hot to touch, so you can count on it lasting a long time on that regard. All in all, performance is stellar, and even exceeds other single cable USB-C hubs. Choosing a USB-C hub can be a long process, as there are many variables and hubs to consider, but it doesn't have to be. Each person has their specific needs, which dictate which hub they end up purchasing, and I hope I helped you at least narrow down your options. But if you want one that has most, if not all of the standard ports you would connect to a laptop, this Hitachi Multiport USB-C hub is the best all-around hub for most people's needs, and I highly recommend it. And lastly, let's hope that in the coming years most devices move on to USB-C, so we can leave this hashtag dongle life behind. Cheers guys. <laughs>